Uh, I will be brief mainly because I have only 100 words in English <laughs> and 50 of them are dirty. I learned them from my wife. She's, flu she's fluent in, in English. In Cuban. She, she's, a bi she's bilingual. You know, Puerto Rican they speak uh, uh, Spanish and English. And, but we Cubans are superior because we speak three languages. We are trilingual. We speak English, Spanish, y mamia da que el carajo. And I didn't invent that. That was my friend Guillermo Alvarez Here He is a very dear friend of ours, which he, here tonight. And she wants to do an announcement. And uh, she was. She has something very interesting to tell us. Our very dear Maria Werlau. Que nombre más lindo que tiene, Maria Werlau. Werlau. Come on in, come on in. Come in, come in, come in. I want to see you all. Uh oh. Try, try. try. Because this is truly a special evening, and I want to express really our sincere gratitude on the name of our board of directors to Brenda and Paquito. Where's Brenda? Brenda! Brenda! Brenda. opening their homes and their hearts to have this lovely evening and make it possible. Uh, thank also Alan and Narelis Lopez because they have prepared a magnificent feast and Alan and Narelis are there. My favorite, Rumba Cubana, here in, um, it's North Bergen. North Bergen? Yeah. I looked it up on the internet. It has a lot of stars. Oh. Well deserved. <laughs> and finally, I also give, want to give my very, very special thanks to the person who is responsible for this great idea, Maria Luisa Perez. She was the one who had the idea and said, don't worry, I'll take care of the planning. Yeah. She dealt with Brenda and Paquito, coordinated everything, and made, made it happen. So to the five of you in particular, thank you very much. I also want to thank the musicians, the service staff, who are giving us a wonderful time. Peter Perez, who can't be here, but donated a case of wine that we're all enjoying together. And last but not least, all of you, dear friends, for your support, friendship, <laughs> and generosity, really. And vision. Um, you're supporting a good cause, um, the Cuba Archive Truth and Memory Project. And let me clarify, because you're all confused. Free Society Project is our nonprofit corporation. That's the name of it. We're thinking about changing it because people get confused. The Cuba Archive Truth and Memory Project is a project under Free Society Project. And this corporation was founded to promote and advance human rights through research, scholarship, and publications. So, Cuba Archive, and I'm not going to get into it because tonight is a joyous evening and we can't really talk about sad and tragic events, but Cuba Archive is documenting the cost and lives of the Cuban Revolution. And we think it's very important. It's not just very important because it's about the past. It's actually about the present, because that, that is happening in Cuba today. And it's about the future, because we want to educate people so that that doesn't happen again when this tragedy and this chapter, this dark chapter of Cuban history is over. So it's, we think it's a very important project, and we really need your support and really appreciate that. Um, I also want to introduce our board of directors to you. Maria Luisa Perez is just one of the most recent additions, and we're very happy to have her. And uh, Jandi Pavon, whom you probably all know, has also come on board. Maria Perez and Mari Perez. They come as a couple, and they've been a long-standing bastion of this project. Alexis Romay, who just served as president, and I want to introduce his wife because she's an extra official member of the board. She's been very supportive, Valerie Block. I want to tell you that um, for me, working with these people is very important. It's not only that they are as people, the expression of the noble ideas of this organization is that they are a great support to this project and to this cause. I'm personally very grateful 
to all of them, but I think everybody who loves freedom should, should be grateful because they serve in a pro bono capacity. This is mainly a volunteer project. As you see, I'm not really reading, but I'm picking my markers because I had a little bit of wine. And I don't want to bore you, um, but I just want to tell you that our work continues. We have worked for several years, many years now, actually. This organization was formally founded in 2000, December 2002. So actually, it's 10 years officially that we started. And a lot of work has been given for this cause. A lot of work has been volunteered, and we've continued with the resources we have, and we've made headway, but there is a lot to be done. And for the future, we hope to find some institutional support so this organization can really do justice to all that needs and should be done. But regardless of the outcome, we continue our commitment to work with what we have and continue moving along. So I urge you, when you have time, go into the website. We have a Spanish and an English page. Explore our work. Get involved. You know, there's many ways to get involved. You can, the writers can write. The translators can translate. The software developers can really help us because we really need help with our website. There's a lot of ways, but all of you can be an ambassador to spread the word about Cuba, the importance that the world knows of the crimes the, against humanity of the Cuban regime and the importance of, the, of this to the cause of freedom. I mean, it really is a way to advance the cause of freedom in Cuba today. It's really not about the past. It's about the present and it's about the future. So I also want to give two little announcements. First, Paquito and Brenda have been very generous and have donated three um, pieces of artwork. They're in that room, uh, and we're going to auction them off. If you're interested, they're really great. And uh, maybe you want to say a little bit when I'm done about the artist and about the words. But um, they're donating this, and part of the proceeds are a tax-deductible donation for anybody who's interested in that. And secondly, before you leave, in the dining room, we have a little publication called uh, Che Guevara's Forgotten Victims. It's in Spanish and in English. You can please take one, read it. And we have tons more. I just couldn't bring all of that tonight. But you can order some, you know, distribute it. I mean, this is uh, a contribution to the bibliography in Che Guevara. We get a lot of calls on Che Guevara and inquiries. And people don't know the victims. So some of the victims are uh, profiled there, and it's, it really is not in the bibliography. So hopefully it's a contribution and it's a way to attract interest in our project. So to all of you, thanks so much for being here. Have fun. Mm -hmm.